Hello everybody, my name is Zar, and welcome back to another episode of Lifeless Planet. Now, before I begin the episode, um, I loaded up the area again as per usual to try and uh, get back to where I was. And... Yeah, something very strange happened. I don't know if it's a flaw in the game or if it's a glitch or something. But first, she was just standing there. Uh, she was still panting, but she was standing there. I walk over, and... I, um... I do the, uh, the thing again with the, the giant donut in the sky. And it goes to carry her over... But then puts her right back to where she was. And she was basically stuck there so I couldn't go forward. At least in theory I couldn't go forward because she wasn't on the panels. Uh, anyway, here's a clip to prove that to you. Yeah, it's pretty weird, isn't it? If I wasn't able to put it in, uh, sorry about that. But, yeah, I just found it really weird that that kind of thing would happen where it didn't do that just once. It did that three times. I literally had to start a new game in this area in order to, uh, you know... get her unstuck. Sorry about that, I was just grabbing my soda. Um, but yeah, it, it's just really, really strange that something like that would happen. Uh, I, I really don't know what happened there. Um, <laughs> just don't ask. But moving on. Also, I didn't want to do a separate video on this, but I have noticed that my subscriber count has been dropping, and it's making me really frustrated. Um, I was at 169 and I dropped all the way down to 165. I even did a little experiment where it was like... I didn't upload for two weeks. I didn't lose any subscribers. The moment I started uploading, I started losing subscribers. So you can't tell me it's not it's not people. It's people not enjoying my content. There's something else that is going wrong. When I continuously upload, I lose subscribers. When I don't upload, I gain subscribers. How, how can that even be possible? But, you know, when I see my subscriber count falling that freaking much, it, it just makes me want to quit YouTube. Because it's like, it, it's so discouraging. But I know I have people out there who are encouraging me to you know, to keep going. I should probably just talk while I'm doing this. I know it's a bit discouraging and stuff. And, like... <clears throat> I know I have fans that uh, constantly come to me or come for uh, content and stuff like that, and I really appreciate all of you, I really mean it, I appreciate everything that you guys do for me, and, you know, I love my community, I love my community of subscribers, people that care, and it's, it's you guys that keep me going. It's just, stuff like that, it, it really gets me down, and... Whoa! 
Whoa, Jesus. But all in all, um, yeah, it, it's just, I, I know I'll gain more subscribers over time and that I shouldn't worry about stuff like this, but it just gets me down. It, it brings me down because I'm trying my hardest with all of this and to, to see people leave my channel because of, because of that, it's, it's discouraging. Or d just leaving my uh, subscriber base in general. It's it's really discouraging. Though, like I really I really appreciate what you guys do for me. I appreciate your likes, views, comments. You you guys make my channel what it is, and I really appreciate that. Don't think that I don't appreciate that, because I do. Did I do anything with this? supposed to get these two blocks of cheese together there. Where does this thing go? Hmm. How is this going to work? Ah, I see. Like I said, it's just that kind of stuff gets me down, but I, I shouldn't let it get to me. Um, you know, I'm going to keep making videos for you guys. There, There's no way that I can't. Because making videos is so fun. And having you guys, you know, view them, even like my content of just me being like plain old bored or just plain old stupid. <laughs> I just really appreciate everything you guys do for me, and just thank you guys so much. There are times where I'm discouraged, but I think about you guys, and it's like, I just bounce right back into it. You guys probably won't be able to, or won't see this video, but... I just want you guys to know that I appreciate all of you, and I... <laughs> I 
I just, I don't know how to thank you guys. <clears throat> you guys make my channel what it is. Nope. Okay, um, something that really is ticking me off here is look at how slow this, uh, this text scrolling speed is. That is what I like. Now look at how fast this is. Yeah, I won't be able to read that. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to. Our scientists have made an amazing discovery today. We had previously believed the portal creators had abandoned this planet or had been killed by the root creatures, but we were wrong. The portal creators are merely an advanced form of the plant-like species that cover the planet. They must have roots that can also mimic endless forms. We are clearly in the presence of a superior and extraordinary form of life. <coughs> okay, so I don't know if that uh, went all the way through, but I'm hoping that it did. Sweet Rhoda of green, where the skies are so gray, the mountains are rubble, and this lady is sitting will she actually come with me oh I gotta get there going on it's possessed demon oxygen supply tank Sorry if I cut out anything there, it kind of coughed in the middle of it. Wait, where am I? Where's our lady friend? Um, incoming feed. Why are you searching for me here? You know where I am. You left me behind years ago. You can't find me now. We're too far apart in distance and time. Fascinating. Oh, I still have my jetpack. So 
I'm assuming I have to go over there. Jesus has scared the shit out of me. my oxygen supply though I see this trail did our lady friend come down here voice crack nope 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 no 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 nope 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 The creature has the woman now, and she's clearly been injured. The drops of the woman's blood grow blight. <laughs> wow, I'm reading backwards. Grow bright, gr glow bright green. I can't read today. <laughs> On the cavern floor. I hope she is still alive, but I can't imagine how I'll be able to help her if that monster is nearby. I'll just kick it in the dick. Take the lesson from Vegeta. All you do is you kick it in the dick. I was gonna say, I hope I have my jetpack because I hope I don't fall to my doom. The abyss. I hope our lady friend is okay. Whoa! I did not see that there. I guess I should have my lights on. You know, I, I find it kind of funny how uh, sensitive that microphone is, the PlayStation mic, because it can a I can actually hear myself breathing. <clears throat> oh, there she is. Oh. 
happening to her? She's turning into a tree. <laughs> and where am I? Greenland? Oh, no shit. This place is greener than a field of broccoli. following is gone. <clears throat> well, no, she's still here all around me. Having given herself up to the monster to save the planet, she, willing, she willingly shared her life-saving cure at her own expense. I like to think she's more at home here, merged with this strange and beautiful ecosystem than in the company of a lowly human such as myself. Oh, lowly human being, whatever. Uh, whatever the case, she saved my life along with countless other beings on the planet. Can I actually touch this? I can. Aww. The thing is, we never went out on our first date! Come on, lady. That's, that's so that's so sad. You rejecting me. Where do I go though? I suppose I go down this way. gotta be careful. No! Ugh. Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to go this way. And this way we shall go. Oh, wow. Actually got up here. Rough landing, but made it.
suppose I'm gonna have to do some platforming again. Side, my jetpack isn't running out. I gotta say, this beats looking at a brown planet. Is that a satellite dish? Oh, no shit, Sherlock. It's obviously a satellite dish. But what would one be doing here? to this planet was a one-way transport mechanism as soon as we discovered following our initial arrival as we discovered we originally assumed it would work like any doorway we could return through the same portal device at our convenience but this was not the case thankfully we eventually discovered the second portal the departure portal leading back home this two portal system was actually very efficient for transport purposes and we developed our settlements appropriately to regulate travel back and forth as necessary. But we didn't comprehend at first was the lost time. Encountered through the portals, while transport happens quickly, time on Earth and on this planet are not in sync. We soon realized a week on this world was a month back on Earth. Oh, Jesus. When the portals failed, this time disparity became great. When the arrival portal malfunctioned and killed so many people, we became afraid to use the departure portal to return home to Earth. Over time, we started to see images we did not recognize on the other side. There were strange towering structures much more advanced than anything we've seen before. Some believe the portal had recalibrated to the home world of the portal creators but i knew the truth the images in the portal were of earth but centuries in the future unfortunately we never tested our hypothesis given the completely unstable power reactions from the portal it was far more likely we could suffer a tragic transportation accident like our comrades from home attempting to reach us there were no volunteers and eventually no further opportunities before the portal went dark and cold. In retrospect, I wish we'd have taken our chances. Oh, that's terrible. It's like some people say, like humans are are a very destructive creature, and to like to some, I understand that uh, science does a lot for for us. But there's a difference between knowing what, um, there's a difference between knowing, like, what's good and what's bad. I know that some scientists' motto are, uh, sacrifices must be made. <clears throat> But do they really need to be made? 
I mean, look at what happened to to this world. I, I could just be going off here, but it's just some things are better off, better left unknown. Is that a portal? things again. Hope it doesn't try and eat me. Actually, I think that guy's stuck firmly in place. Oh, there's another one off in the distance. There are these guys all over the place. Is that the exit portal? Understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again, even if I'm not here. Is it? Oh well. Um, <laughs> I actually really enjoyed this. Uh, it was pretty fun to go around not knowing what to expect, getting a couple of jump scares. Well, not really jump scares, more of me being an idiot. But I think this, this was a pretty fun game overall. The exploration counter is pretty good. They had a couple of, uh, they had about, like, two puzzles in here. They could have added a lot more to this game to make it even better. It's a shame that our lady friend had to sacrifice herself, but I guess she did it to save her planet. And then, now, like, the planet can rebuild itself or something like that. But I don't really know what's going to happen. Um... Though this was actually really fun, and if I'd have to rate this game, uh, I'd put it at around a, a 6 or a 7 out of 10, because well, mainly because what will you miss most about Earth? 
Well, my wife first of all, and then Earth itself. All of it. <coughs> she saw the beauty of this planet long before I did. You truly loved her? Of course. And if you lose someone you love, even 20 light years probably isn't enough distance to make you stop missing them. I saw that thing move. I saw that satellite move. Did you guys see that? But anyway, this this game it, it's more of a it's more of a relaxing kind of game where you can go around and just you know walk around and do stuff. <clears throat> And it's it's more of like a an exploration game of finding out what happened to <laughs> to other people. It's a shame that my crew had to die. Uh, that I was the only one left on the planet. It's kind of a shame because I would have liked to have uh, my crew there to help me around and stuff like that, keep me company, you know, share. Uh, share some words with um, it could have had a little bit more dialogue in the game you know the the character showing more expression showing more uh, concern and stuff like that um, like asking what is going on on the planet trying to deduce stuff for himself I know that there must have been some stuff that I missed, and I don't really want to go back and, and get it, because it would <clears throat> take another episode, and this game's already over. We already found out what had happened here, and yeah, um, I just want to say good job to the developers on this game. Um, I wish that you could have added more, just to, you know, like... Uh, branch it out a bit and you know like give more attention to the main character or give more also more attention to the planet um, like we've explored the entire planet and the only part at the end was like it was all green uh, you could have added like a uh, a few plants in there, showing that like the planet is rebuilding itself. But other than that, it's okay. Um, yeah, like I enjoyed my my adventure through this game. I think it was, I thought it was really fun. But yeah, um, as for my next plans, I've got a uh, monster hunter worlds coming out on there well monster hunter worlds is coming out on the 26th and i'm going to be i'm definitely going to be making a lot of videos of monster hunter worlds so i really hope that you guys are excited for that because i know i am i love monster hunter and it's one of my favorite franchises of games it is absolutely phenomenal and I really hope that you guys will enjoy it just as much as me. But as for this game, it's over. It was fun. I had fun. Uh, if you guys want to purchase it yourself, feel free to. Um, I I just found this game interesting and, and I bought it on the PlayStation Store. Uh, I might make a separate video sometime. Uh, just talking a little bit. Uh, you know, just what's on my mind and stuff like that. Uh, you guys can feel free to share your opinions and stuff with me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this adventure. And don't forget, if you like the video, be sure to smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in my next playthrough.
So, and my channel mascot, as always, to the top left, if you hover your mouse over him, he'll give you a subscribe button to click, or you can click the subscribe button down below if you would like to see more from me. Also, you might want to click that bell icon so you can get notified when I upload videos. And over to the right is the playlist. Below that is a video I've most recently uploaded. And below my channel mascot is a video that YouTube recommends. So, take care guys, and goodbye.